I'm Michael Cole, this is JB Allen, we welcome you to Portland, Oregon. It's been a long time since we've come to Portland, and it's great to be back. The Rose City's gonna get his face rock tonight, and I, for one, can't wait. And neither can these fans. We better get started, or we might have a riot on our hands. Wow, great reversal. Ric Flair certainly has earned the nickname the dirtiest player in the game. But you can't say he doesn't warn his opponents. You're such a hypocrite. If it was anyone else in there cheating to win, you'd be all over them. What can I say? I guess I'm willing to make an exception for a legend with 16 World Championship victories to his credit. So much for objective commentary. I guess it's up to me to provide the fair and balanced analysis as usual. When I first heard about this match, I wasn't sure what to think, but these superstars are blowing me away. Really? As soon as I heard about it, I expected a tremendous matchup, and I haven't been disappointed. I didn't say I'm not disappointed, but I'll talk about getting stuck with you as a broadcast partner some other time. He zeroed in on the leg of his opponent. He's going in for the kill. Figure four, expertly applied. It's so great seeing these superstars in competition here tonight. I had a feeling they are going to wind up against each other sooner or later. There were times when it seemed like it wasn't going to happen, but I can't tell you how glad I am that it did. That's for sure. You know, anytime you throw these kind of combustible elements, you know there's such a thing as playing to the crowd too much, and that's what I'm seeing here. I disagree. He's wrestled this match his way all along, and now we see it paying off. There's the reversal. Look at this. Pandering to the crowd. Nothing wrong with keeping the paying customers happy while you build some momentum. Yeah, well, one mistake, and we're going to see that fire put out pronto. How do you even prepare to enter into a match against a legend like Terry Funk? As great as Funk is, you can't let the legend of the man sock you out. Otherwise, you're beat before you even start. And I'd imagine that that's much easier said than done. Man, you just can't put anything over on these fans. You sure can't. They see everything, and they'll let you know about it. <coughs> this has been a great match so far, but I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a guess then? There's no guesswork involved. But if you're going to be snippy, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> wow, if I knew it was that easy, I would have said that years ago. These superstars give everything they've got when they're in a match like this, but a lot of people don't realize what they sacrificed. The adrenaline is pumping. The crowd is coming alive. This is what they came to see. Hey, try to restrain yourself a little bit, okay? You're supposed to be calling this down the middle. I think we might be looking at the future of the WWE. Uh-oh, I hope this superstar wasn't planning on having kids anytime soon. Well, I guess adoption's still an option, right? I don't think anyone in this match has even considered that they might not walk out the winner. Of course not. That's the kind of attitude that gets you beat quicker than anything. And that's something I don't think people realize. The mental conditioning of the WWE superstars is just as impressive as the physical conditioning. Oh, man, these WWE fans are fired up. They sure are, and you know that's going to have an effect on this match. Mark my words, one of these days, Ric Flair's cheating ways are going to catch up with him. Well, if it hasn't happened so far, I have my doubts as to whether it ever will. He anticipated that move perfectly. Oh. 
If there's a hell that Terry Funk won't put himself through to get a win, I've yet to see it. And that's what makes Terry Funk so dangerous. However far you're willing to go, he'll go further. <laughs> Ric Flair is a terrible example to every young superstar. The man built his career on cheating and stealing victories. Ah, oh, come on. Don't tell me you didn't borrow a trick or two from the dirtiest player in the game. When you're facing Terry Funk, you have to stay on offense. If you're not on offense, you're on defense. And that's not a place you want to be when you're dealing with a legend like Terry Funk. Absolutely not. Funk is a man who can recognize the slightest hint of weakness and use that to completely pick you apart. Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. You know, if you look at trade you can be cruiserweight champion side a year. Oh no, I've heard stories about the way you train people. You make Marines real instructors look like pushovers. Are you surprised? They're just training people to go to war. I train them to be WWE superstars. Uh, well, thanks but no thanks, partner. I think I'll stick to announcing for now. <sighs> I hope this isn't the last time we see these superstars face off. I don't say this too often, but I completely agree with you. This has all the makings of a nice, long rivalry. I don't know how nice it is, but there are certainly some issues between these superstars, and I think this match might only exasperate them. Hey, watch your language. This is a family show. I said exasperate. Not, oh, never mind. These superstars have been giving it everything they've got all night. They sure have. And that's where the superb conditioning of the WWE superstars comes into play. Yeah, you're not going to win a match if you're blown up two minutes into it. You can say that again. I've seen matches won and lost simply because one superstar was able to outlast their opponent. Even if you wind up winning a match like this, you're going to be feeling it for the next week. Rope break. Yes, but that's the case if you lose as well. And having to deal with emotional as well as physical pain is that much worse. Hey, it's pretty insightful for a guy who's never wrestled a match in his life. Well, I've been in the locker room after a match and seen the superstars who don't get their hands raised. You can literally feel the disappointment radiating off them. It's not a pretty sight. I hope these fans appreciate this opportunity to see Terry Funk in action here tonight. Oh, I think they do. He's a living legend in this business. You got that right. Legend is a word. Here it is. He's building up ahead of steam, and he's about to let his opponent have it. And if his opponent is smart, he'll get the hell out of there. Come on. You're looking at a superstar who can feed off a crowd and use that energy to win the match. This match proves without a doubt why SmackDown's the dominant brand in sports entertainment. I can't help but agree, partner. You won't see action like this on Raw. Even if you did, you'd have to hear about puppy and government mules and scalded dogs. Looks like a zoo over there. Me too, and I do agree with what they're saying. Terry Funk is the man who practically invented the word hardcore. Oh. And as a former hardcore champion, I take my hat off to the man for that. Uh. Talk about superstars who don't have an ounce of quit between them. You're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. He's bleeding all over the place. This one's getting ugly. It isn't pretty, but it's effective. You make your opponent bleed, and you've got a psychological edge over him. Maybe so, but I'm more concerned about the risk to his physical well-being now that he's been busted open. Ugh. 
It's crazy to think that we actually get paid to do a job like this. There's thousands of people out there who would do oh. this for free. Really? Maybe I he's got this crowd <clears throat> solidly behind him. And now he's going to give them exactly what they want to see. You can't just keep playing to the crowd. That's a huge distraction in my opinion. There isn't an ounce of quit in these superstars. There certainly isn't. They're in this one to the bitter end. No superstar in the locker room can afford to ignore the WWE fans. You're right about that. Without the fans, we'd all be out of a job. I certainly don't envy the referee in this match. No kidding. No matter what call you make, you're going to get on the bad side of at least one superstar. And that's about the last place you want to be if you're not a superstar yourself. Trust me, I know. Man, oh, this one's turned into a fight, pure and simple. We knew it was going to be. Come on, quit showing off. This is a wrestling match, not a popularity contest. We've seen this before. He's been wrestling his style of match, and he's coming up on a big payoff. Seeing a match like this makes me proud to be part of this company. I'm with you, partner. You just can't experience a thrill like this anywhere else. And that's because you're not going to see athletes like the WWE superstars anywhere else, Cole. You certainly aren't. They're the greatest athletes in the world. And this is the only place you'll see them doing what they do best. I know I say this a lot, but it ain't ballet. You step between those ropes, you better be prepared to take some punishment. And to dish some out as well. I don't think I've ever seen a superstar win a match by being a tackling dummy. These superstars are on fire tonight. They sure are, and I don't think they're going to be put out anytime soon. <laughs> oh my, talk about your compromising positions. Nothing will take the fight out of a superstar quicker than a move like this. I've been looking forward to this match all night. So have I. It's certainly been one of the most anticipated matchups in recent weeks. And usually when you got that kind of hop, it's tough to live up to expectation, but these superstars aren't having any trouble doing that. They sure aren't. And that's an impressive thing in and of itself. I've got to admit it. I'm impressed by the superstars' performance here tonight. We were expecting a solid match from these superstars, but this is even better than I'd hoped. Wow, listen to that chant. The crowd makes a huge difference, whether they're for you or against you. Boy, this is not the way I thought this match was going to go at all. And that's what makes the WWE so exciting. The unpredictability of the superstars. You never quite know exactly what you're going to see. These superstars have proven time and again that they're willing and able to go the distance. Well, you don't get too far in this business if you're not. That's for sure, partner. There's always someone right behind you, ready to overtake you if you can't keep up. We've seen some pretty good back and forth here, but you don't see too many matches end that way. No, you don't. And I think we'll see one superstar dominate the match before it's over. Man, what a match. Kids, if you're watching this, don't try this stuff at home. Absolutely not. These are trained WWE superstars. And even they wind up seriously injured sometimes. That's for sure. Even me, a former WWE champion, 
has had his share of injuries over the years. Uh-oh, whatever you do, you can't ever let him get a hold of your leg. And we're about to see why. Figure four locked in. There's been a lot of blood, sweat, and tears shed in that ring over the years. And if these superstars have their way, there's going to be a lot more shed here tonight. What a match. I've got no idea what these superstars are going to do next. That makes two of us, partner. And I think that's one of the things that makes it so exciting. I cannot remember the last time I've seen a crowd this pumped up. I know what you mean, partner. These superstars have really brought the fans to life here tonight. I'm all for freedom of expression, whether I agree with what they're saying or not. As long as these superstars have got anything left in the tank, they'll keep going at it. They certainly don't look like they're going to give anything less than 100% here tonight. I think that if one of these superstars successfully executes their finishing move, this one is over. That's not necessarily the case. Just because it's called a finisher doesn't mean it always ends the match. You sound like you're speaking from experience. That's ridiculous. When I hit someone with the clothesline from hell, they stayed down, period. I think you're developing a selective memory in your old age, partner. This one could still go either way. It sure could. It's not over until the referee calls for the bell. <coughs> This one's gonna keep going until someone can't go anymore. And considering the conditioning of these athletes, that could be... This could be big, but it could backfire. Oh boy, I think the referee is out of it. They gotta start getting sturdier refs. This kind of thing seems to happen a lot. Look out! The referee's been knocked out! And this is where things start getting interesting. Anyone who thinks this business is a piece of cake should get into the ring with these superstars. I don't think anyone would last too long against them. These are trained WWE professionals. So have you got any predictions about who's going to win this one? No way. I've seen you embarrass yourself with enough bad guesses that I'm not going to risk doing the same. Ugh. Oh, man, I don't envy that referee. The last place I'd want to be is between these two superstars. You can say that again. Talk about hazardous to your health. This capacity crowd is making their opinions known tonight. Yeah, the WWE fans aren't known for keeping their opinions to themselves. Ugh. These superstars are so unpredictable. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. I don't think you're going to be able to. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. And what a wild ride it's been so far, with no signs of stopping anytime soon. He likes fighting dirty, and it's easy to see why. He's really good at it. He certainly is, and I hope he's proud of himself. Personally, I find it disgusting. These superstars are at the top of their game, but only one of them is going to have his hand raised at the end of this one. And that's a real shame because, like you said, this has been a great match so far. So what? You want to say that everybody wins so that nobody gets their feelings hurt? I never said that. I'm just saying that in a great match like this, everyone involved deserves credit for it. This is one heck of a match so far.
It sure is. What do you think the highlight of it has been so far? Well, that'll probably come a little later in the match when you shut your yap for a few seconds and let me enjoy it in peace. Well, excuse me for doing my job. Sorry to have... These fans have got something they want to share with us. That's their right. They paid for their tickets after all. This match is so good, it's even worth having to sit next to you to watch it. Thanks a lot. You know, you're not always my number one choice for a broadcast partner either. You know what? You should partner up with Jerry Lawler. Then you could have the king and the queen on commentary. Really funny. You know, that would almost be worth not having to work with a joker like you all the time. Wow. I almost feel bad for JR and the King. When's the last time you think they saw a match this good? I couldn't tell you. I don't know if they've ever had anything this good on Raw. Well, that just makes sense. After all, SmackDown is the number one brand in all of sports entertainment. Look at that! That's going to go over big with the fans and build some momentum at the same time. You gotta watch out for your opponent when they're getting fired up like this. The refs got a tough job trying to keep these superstars on the up and up. Anything can happen in WWE. An entire match can turn on one or two big moves. Look, if you're going to get on your high horse again and give us another lecture about play it fair, I am going to regurgitate. Is it so wrong to ask a superstar to play by the rules? That doesn't seem to be so unreasonable to me. That's because you never competed in a match. If you did, you would know that you got to do whatever it takes to win. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, and injured superstars like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. That's absolutely right. This business is as psychological as it is physical. You can't let your opponents think you're easy pickings. Well, I wouldn't consider any of these superstars to be easy pickings, no matter how beaten up they get. I'd add the most frustrating thing in the world is when you want to keep fighting and there's just nothing left. And I think we're getting to that point here. I think these superstars are going to keep it up until they've got literally nothing left to give. And that's the attitude you have to take to win. You know that your opponent isn't going to hold anything back, and you can't afford to either. I'd love to know you're coming up with this stuff, because it sure ain't from personal experience. Yeah, and 10,000 paying customers can't be wrong. between the competitors right now. Well, you could if you had ever actually been in a match. I don't think you need in-ring experience to feel the tenacity radiating off of these superstars. Trust me, when it comes down... These superstars have inflicted so much damage on each other that I'm getting exhausted just watching them. The key to winning a match like this is to build momentum. You're not going to see a match won with just one or two moves. No, but one or two big moves at a crucial point could change the direction of it completely. These superstars certainly aren't going easy on each other tonight. They sure are giving the fans their money's worth. I just hope the WWE fans appreciate it. These superstars <laughs> put their bodies on the line night after night. And the WWE fans sell out these arenas night after night. <clears throat> Sounds like they appreciate it to me. <clears throat> these superstars are looking for an opening here to try and gain the advantage. 
And patience can certainly be a virtue in a match like this. You can say that again. Waiting for your opponent to make a move or give you an opening can be just as intense as Rope putting break. them through a table. And whether or not you have that kind of patience often means the difference between winning and losing a match. When you this capacity crowd knows what he's about to do. He's going right after that leg. You know what comes next. Can you believe Rope this break. match so far? I really can't. This isn't anything like what I expected from these competitors. Yeah, I gotta admit, they are surprising the hell out of me here, too. And I think it's that unpredictability that makes these superstars so exciting to watch. <clears throat> and there's the reversal. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think we know which way this one's going to go. Actually, from my perspective, I think it could still go either way. And what perspective would that be? The perspective of somebody who's never actually been in a match? You can't let that break your focus. But that's easier said than done. Night after night, the WWE superstars never fail to amaze the fans. And that's a good thing. I don't even like to think about where we'd be if they didn't. Well, we wouldn't be sitting here calling this match, that's for sure. I think I got a pretty good idea of who's going to win this one. I wouldn't be so sure. If there's one thing we've seen, it's that anything can happen here in WWE. Man, I don't want this match to end. I'm with you, partner, but it's got to end sooner or later. Well, whichever oh, way it goes, no one can say that these superstars didn't give it everything they got. Man, this crowd is really swelling this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans love him. And he's feeding off that energy right now. This has been a barn burner of a match so far. It has indeed. But I think this crowd is waiting to see one or two really big moves. Yeah, but going for those two quickly is the best way to lose a match. This can go down to folks as an instant classic. I think just about every match has that potential. This is WWE after all. Victory means absolutely everything to these competitors tonight. Now that's a real pearl of wisdom. You got any more? Like the superstar who beats their opponents? Well, I think someone's been taking flying lessons. You're not going to see superstars like this anywhere else except on SmackDown. You'll get no argument from me, partner. SmackDown is the dominant brand in all of sports entertainment. He's climbing the turnbuckle. Will this pay off? Figure four leg lock. A lot of superstars have been beaten by this one over the years. The figure four, the figure four, expertly applied. I tell you, this is what WWE is all about. You're absolutely right. The greatest athletes in the world competing on the grandest stage of them all. How much longer are these superstars going to be able to keep it up? Your guess is as good as mine. They're certainly not going easy on each other, that's for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, we are seeing an incredible display of athletic ability here tonight. What do you expect? These are WWE superstars, the greatest athletes in the world. 
True enough. There's no off season for them. There's no month or two off between matches. No, there isn't. They got to be here week in, week out, and they go until they can't go anymore. And they do it all for the WWE fans. Without them, none of us would even be here. Look, all the WWE superstars are tough human beings, but these competitors tonight are really raising the bar. They sure are. We're seeing some great intensity here tonight. And that's the name of the game, intensity. You got to stay on your opponent until one of you cannot go anymore. These superstars are well aware of that, and that's exactly what they've got in mind. I talked to these superstars before the match, and I've never seen competitors more fired up and ready to get it on. Judging from how this match has gone so far, I have no trouble believing that whatsoever. You don't see action like this every day. You sure don't, and we've got the best seats in the house. We sure do. Front and center. We couldn't get any closer to this match without being in it. <laughs> Whoa, that's your territory, partner, not mine. I'm perfectly happy staying right where I am. It's not easy maintaining this kind of intensity week after week after week. Trust me. I don't doubt it. The WWE superstars don't get any offseason. They compete every week until they're not physically capable of continuing. This sellout crowd just can't get enough of these superstars. I'd like to see it. A WWE match isn't just about competition. It's also about entertaining the fans. Well, if that's the case, how come they got you as an announcer? That's not exactly a great entertainment value. You might be right. I think it would be extremely entertaining to listen to you try to call a match all by yourself. Oh, no. I think he's bleeding from that last shot. Wow, you're not kidding. He's busted wide oh. open. Get in there and take a look at him, ref. Look at these superstars go. It's obvious that they've done their homework on each other. That's for sure. This match might have been over by now if they had. 90% of a match is in the preparation. You got to come in ready for battle. These superstars are pounding the hell out of each other. How much longer can they keep this up? No break. I don't know, but you can bet that it's going to get a lot worse before it's over. I think this ref <laughs> needs an eye exam. How could you miss that? I don't know, but if the referee doesn't see it, it doesn't count. Folks, we'll be staying with this match to the end with no commercial interruptions. Good thing, because I don't think we'd hear the end of it if we cut away here. You're probably right. I know I wouldn't want to miss a second of this action. These superstars are putting on a clinic. Yeah, and not a health clinic. I don't think they'll be the same after this one. Look at these superstars. They haven't even contemplated the fact that they might lose here tonight. They've sacrificed so much to get here. I don't think they could allow that thought to enter their heads. It's obvious that the superstars have studied each other carefully. <laughs> no question about that. You won't last long against an opponent you haven't done your homework on. These superstars are showing some great intensity here tonight, and that is exactly what these WWE fans came to see. That's for sure, and the number one rule here on SmackDown is to see... He's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. This capacity crowd is certainly getting its money's worth here tonight. 
And it's a good thing, too. If they're not buying tickets, we're not getting paychecks. Well, I don't think we'll have to worry about selling tickets the next time we come back here. Not after a match like this. Conditioning is a huge factor in any match. If you can't go the distance, there's no way you're going to win. That's for sure. And the WWE... You can't compete in a physical match like this and not wind up feeling the effects. And that's what we're starting to see. I hope these fans realize they are getting their money's worth. If they don't yet, I'm sure they will by the end of the match. I think he's gonna fly. I don't think there's gonna be anything left of these superstars by the time this is over. Oh, you might be right. They are so focused on victory that they don't care what they have to do to get it. Uh-oh, the more I watch this match, the more I realize there might be some real personal issues here with these superstars. You might be right. After all, they spent the better part of the match beating the heck out of each other. It's hard not to take something like that personally. I think things might quiet down a little here soon. Or we might just be heading into the calm before the storm. Here's your winner, Terry Funk.